Okay, so my name is uh, Barakat and I'm the area manager of Zoha TBI program office. So, well, yeah, it's been a while since I have started working in such projects. But the main difference that I have observed in Anil and Dashira is the, the kind of partnership that we have. It's quite common actually to have partnership with NGOs, with university and the like, and sometimes I enjoy with government and the like. But to come up with a partnership combining these university, governments, INGO and private sectors is quite new. Yeah. Uh, I would say the, the, the expertise that each partner has in the partnership. So we have a university with good academic and research background. We have uh, private sectors with good uh, business ideas. And we have INGO with good implementing uh, project implementation. Uh, uh, experience, uh, so this all expertise is uh, a good advantage of uh, the, the partnership. A challenge that I can mention is uh, the, the, the way we look at things because of the, the fact that we have different experiences. Yeah. Uh, okay, because we implement the project on the ground, uh, so the, the added value is uh, knowing the local context, uh, in terms of security, in terms of everything that happens on the ground. Uh, but again, the, because we are on the front with the beneficiaries, ensuring the accountability and uh, beneficiary participation in the project is another value, value added that, that we have as IDG. Okay. Uh, so our beneficiaries are getting involved in the project uh, in two ways, I would say. One, we involve them through direct participation, could be through surveys, could be through community participations or community mappings and the like. But usually through their representatives. The West Coast and the refugees have their own representatives. Uh, refugee Central Committee for the Refugees and Kabili Administrators for the host communities. So we consult them in every, in every day uh, or in, in, in every activity that we implement in the project. Yeah. I mean, in, in this project, I, I would say we are in the good, in the good progress, but some, a lesson that we have taken is uh, that it would have been very nice also to involve the beneficiaries during the project design. Not only the beneficiaries, but even uh, well, many colleagues from many uh, partners who are not part of the project design, so that's why uh, that has experienced a lot of challenges in getting understanding of the project and the lake. So I would say it would have been very nice to involve or consult the beneficiaries since the design of the project. But now we are at the implementation stage, so we are in a good progress, and the monitoring and, and evolution are also on the process, so to get them involved will not be a problem or a challenge. Uh, yeah, as a facilitator, as I've told you, one of the challenging things that we have in this partnership is getting a common level of understanding as we have different exper expertise and experiences. So as a facilitator, I would, I would say that the, the, the institution has to find a middle point in bringing or play a facilitation role in bringing all the perspectives into a fixed table or a middle point so that we proceed in solving the, 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 the remaining challenges. Yeah.